I'm Sean Kenny here, and we're playing some more Spore. We finally made it to the space stage, despite all odds of us being able to even get out of the sea with just one leg. Uh, we are now about ready to explore the cosmos. Uh, I've uh, put together real basic TARDIS, I guess. I don't know. Looks all right. Um, there's um, much better ones out there, I'm sure. Uh, but you have really so many options with the space editor. Uh, you know, everything from riverboat wheels, the sails. Uh, you could have, you know, from steampunk to you could have a flying uh, bicycle if, if you wanted. Uh, really, your imagination is uh, the limit when it comes to, to what you can do. Because every part, not only can you put every part on, um, but th they all resize, some of them modify in different ways, uh, different have stretch. Uh, so, so you can really, you know, take something that, you know, oh, well, I, you know, I kind of want something like that, but, you know, we could reposition it and, and stretch it, um, you know, and, and expanding and reducing them and putting them together in different ways really, really give you a whole lot of options, but uh, we'll go with this for now, and uh, let's start our explorations into space. And this, this, this is really the exciting part of Spore. Um, just the sheer volume of planets that you can explore in this game is, it's just incredible. Um, you know, I, I doubt anyone really could explore all the planets. I, uh, there's thousands, thousands. Uh, Alright, so we got play as a warrior. And here we go. Alright. Now we'll finally get get to see our planet from the outside. Uh, lift off. You successfully developed a ship capable of space flight. The heavens beckon. The cosmos await. The universe is at your fingertips if you can learn to fly this thing. <laughs> That's right. All right, so uh, we get a slightly different uh, interface. We can uh, hold down the right mouse button and uh, basically fly um, just like the TARDIS, actually. <laughs> It'll follow the mouse. Uh, you can also use ASDW, um, a, uh, a and D, I guess, just rotate. Uh, w and, and S, of course, forward and back. So, uh, that seems to be working. Okay, so we have uh, communications. Uh, that the whole plan is going to be ours now. We do still need to basically go and, uh, and make sure all our cities are optimized. We want them happy and well defended with, uh, uh, but that's going to, it's still going to cost money. Um, but we'll want to make sure, because all our cities don't start. So as you can see, some of them were destroyed. Uh, we basically inherited, uh, you know, a <laughs> half-built-up society. So that'll be one thing I want to want to do. Uh, the first thing, though, we'll open up the communications and see what, what our first mission is. Um, added new equipment to your ship. With uh, We should have it ready for space travel in no time. Have you flown, flown a spaceship before? No? Mm, well, nothing like a test flight. Uh, ready to earn your capsa captain's badge? Alright, sure. Uh, okay, so... Fly... Okay, if we gotta fly through over each city. So this is good. Um, I'll probably actually take the opportunity to def set up all the defenses. Make sure every city is in, uh, you know, good work in order. Uh, everyone's more or less happy. Uh, okay, so what do we... What's what's our best option? So we can put... Um, why can't we put the entertainment? Uh, people be relatively happy, prosperous. Alright, so... And we'll on to the next city, I guess. Um, maybe I won't optimize everyone uh, for the video. We'll just uh, fly through these things. And I'll just do that afterwards. So, get to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, use the mouse wheel that uh, controls our height, which is kind of cool. So, like, as we zoom down in, we're getting lower uh, and closer to the action. 
we could you know, zoom up and we're getting much higher and we're actually moving out. Okay, so we finished our mission of flying over every city. Say, ta-da, we have a spaceship. Uh, we'll click on communication. Alright, so what do you want me to do next now? Uh, work on the ability to scan the planets. Uh, you, okay, yeah, you get the scan tool. Um, Alright. So, click on the scan. And uh, I guess that's homing in, that's sh showing us where one of our targets is. And now that we have the scan tool selected, uh, we just left click and it's uh, we need to scan the, the various creatures. Alright. Cool. Uh, so we're going to have to scan scan all the things, I guess. That's an unhealthy one, I guess. Yeah, alright, we're trying to find where the arrow is. Okay, I guess we've done it now. Excellent, alright. Gadzooks. Uh, it's quite valuable, sure, that's great. Uh, use the abduction beam. Alright, we get to to abduct things now. Uh, so this is our, our spaceship tool list. Um, we don't really have much in the way of tools right now. We have our sc They're basically just unlocking them for us now as we go. Uh, but there's going to be all kinds of things that unlock. Uh, the abduction beam is one of the early ones here where we can basically... Uh, there we go. And just scan in all kinds of stuff into our cargo hold. Alright. Yeah. So we'll need to, to collect a few more samples. We don't need to get the whole a few things get oh 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 no don't don't drown. You're one of my targets. Oh, oh come on. Apparently, uh, water uh, <laughs> water interferes with the collection beam. Well, that's too bad. Um, drop drop them off to the within the Iran city walls. Okay, so how do we? We just select the item we want, and then we can hold left button, and it just one at a time, I guess. Uh, what was it that they wanted, though? Is it that? No. Oh, that, there's a tree. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, maybe it was one of these guys. Okay, apparently I'm flinging them way out. Um, let's uh, go. Safe landing? Oh, come on, which one did you want? Oh, come on. Alright, you have... Oh, okay. I actually have done it already. Well, that's great. The kayak. Uh... Here's the specimen was sick uh, with a virus. So this, you're going to get missions throughout uh, that are a lot like this. Go find the infected creature on this planet. And, um, oh, we'll get a laser to clean the infection. Uh, I guess we're going for a, a sterilization. Yeah. Just, so this is our first basic little <laughs> weapon. Uh, we get to, to laser things, which is always fun. So we got to find... Uh, they're always hidden in the trees somewhere. So we're just gonna burn burn them all. And uh, there we go. We can be a little more surgical with these guys, I guess, because we can actually see them. <laughs> there we go. And uh, so as you can hear, you get sort of the audio tone and the direction finder for 
for quest items, which is pretty helpful. Uh, although it can sometimes sort of lead you down the wrong path. Um, oh, look, they're collecting gas in uh, balloons. Alright, well, did I kill it? Is it dead yet? I'm just going to make sure everything's burned. Oh, what's that? SR-71 Blackbird. Cool. Okay, uh, I guess we've back to communicating. Uh, you've earned our badge and title of captain. Alright. Uh, we've developed interplanetary drive, so we're going to have to install it. Uh, it's 10,000 space bucks. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. Alright. Uh, Okay, so we're getting our first interplanetary drive, and that's how you're going to unlock sort of further jump drives through through various missions and quests, um, as well as hitting various milestones uh, in the space game. Uh, so we're at the rank of captain, so I think we can finally we can leave the atmosphere, and uh, here is our solar system. Oh wow, look at that! Alright, so, oh, yeah, kind of as you zoom in, uh, you'll sort of enter and exit. Uh, let's go check out the moon. Uh, Dosirin? Oh, look at the moon. We got a green moon. Is it made out of cheese? Is this, like, literally a, a moon made out of, like, green cheese? I guess, of course, it would be moldy. Uh, sitting out in space uh, all this time. Wow. Oh, it's like volcanic. Uh, oh, oh. We're, we're getting too close to the volcanoes. Uh, terraforming. Okay. So this gives us some information and it appears that we... I don't know. what. I'm not sure what I'm reading here. I think it's no atmosphere? Oh, that's where the, okay, the red dot, I think, is where the planet is, and that's, uh, like, whether it's really cold or really hot. So it seems temperate, um, no atmosphere or versus a dense atmosphere, and then as you get closer, that's sort of the, the middle, that, that's where optimal life is. Uh, it'll support the, the largest biosphere, and sort of each ring as you as you go terraforming. We don't have any terraforming tools as, as of yet. But, uh, okay, so this is kind of a cool moon. We, we You know, it has a little bit of an atmosphere. Uh, a whole lot of gas. Uh, fly to... What, what it was? Our, sort of getting distracted from our mission. But we, they want us to fly to planet Gargicon. Uh, okay, Gargicon. That must be... Okay, that seems to be the next planet in. Oh. That's one thing that happens is if you're near a planet and you're trying to zoom in, uh, get a better look, you end up zooming into the planet. So we just click on the planet and we can fly to it. Alright. So this is the next planet in our solar system, closer to the sun. Uh, so something's showing up on our radar. Seems to be a more hospitable planet. Uh, than perhaps Venus is. A crash space craft. Ooh, it's emitting a strange radio signal. And we're gonna go and go scan it. Alright, well, we can do that. Um, trying to remember. Here we go, I'm use the mouse button to rotate. Alright, so we'll wanna click our main tools and scan. Ah, oh, check it out. Oh, it looks like some strange writing. Aliens, but no signs of life. Uh, looks like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait, the wreckage has triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming on board. Oh, it's uh, forcefully uh, sticking us with some goods. Uh, it, it, it shot an ore up our arse. Right up our ass. There are missiles and inter... Interstellar drive. It fired a missile up on it, or it gave us. Well, that's good. Uh, which seemed like an unknown star coordinate program into it. Direct damage looks like it came from a flight 
this ship must have been sent from some other planet to get help. Oh, well. We have a, a mystery then, do we? Cool. Alright. Um, so we're going to leave the solar system. And... Uh, uh, okay, I think we, we have a mission. Oh, collect spice. Uh, if we talk... Um, we have to go to planet Pi to oh, whatever. Okay, whatever that is. Uh, so we zoom out and we get into interstellar travel, and uh, the interstellar drive from the wreck is responding uh, to a beacon, so it's telling us where to go. And so apparently it's like the next star over. All right, let's uh, check it out. And uh, we're going right to the planet that it wants us to, oh, which is convenient. Cool. Alright. What do we have? Something is showing up on the ship's radar. Yeah, apparently it's green. Ooh. I would say that city has been destroyed. Just a guess. Uh, these ruins must be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scanning the ruins may reveal clues as to what happened here. All right. Well, let's uh, let's scan the wreck. Okay. So, click on our scanning beam. Oh, there we go. Oh, it triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. Oh, I think we're we're getting our first combat tutorial. Oh, look at that. Thing looks nasty. These drones don't look friendly, that's for sure. All Grox intruders must be Terminator. Uh, the Grox, all... You're not the Grox. All Grox intruders must be terminated. Alright, well, uh, we're going to have to switch to our weapons, and uh, we're going to switch to our our minor proton missile, because uh, that's our, our main ship uh, weapon, and uh, you just sort of click and uh, we try and avoid avoid the bad guys being shot shooting at us and we take them out yeah all right return to your home world to complete our mission but you know uh so this is a totally different planet uh you're going to find all kinds of different creations it does seem to pull or it seems to be pulling much better uh different creatures. Like, let's go, you know, while we're here, let's let's see what some of these planets have to offer. Uh, oh, cool. It's gone into some kind of... We've discovered a barren planet. Barren plants can sustain a limited colony, or you can improve its terrain score uh, and establish a flooring spaceport for your empire. Yeah, and eventually you can, you know, take them right from barren rocks to, uh, to T3 planets, which will support the, the largest amount of life. Uh, so, wow, this is kind of cool. It's like a whole lot of liquid something. Uh, it's, it's super cold. I don't know what that would be. Maybe it's like an ammonia or something, but we get down near the volcanoes and it, uh, it damages us, so I'm going to try and avoid that. So, uh, and you, there's so many different planets. Um, some of them are, are really realistic looking, um, others are uh, not so realistic looking, but uh, we can check out some of the, the gas giants. Uh, I don't think we can actually, yeah, it won't let us, when it comes to gas giants, this is about you know, as, as close as it'll get, you'll just sort of orbit there, but they generally have some moons that can be uh, investigated. Uh, so this one is uh, another really cold planet with almost no atmosphere. Uh, this got a bunch of really neat rock formations, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, a bunch of asteroids hit it or something, stuck into it. So I guess let's uh, let's head back and uh, we'll get our next mission. And we'll have to zoom out here and head on back to our home. Oh, what's what's happening now? Your SETI device has revealed strange radio signals emitting from this star. Fly in and explore. Um, what what star? I mean, we're getting radio signals from 
from our home planet. Uh, that, that would make sense. Okay, mission accomplished. We knew we were alone in the galaxy. Traces of an extinct civilization. Hostile security drone and the Groks. Uh, the Groks are going to be a real pain in the butt. They're, they're everywhere in the galaxy, uh, especially around the galactic core. Uh, but hopefully we won't have to deal with them right away. Uh, we'll have other more pressing threats, I'm sure. Uh, it's obvious that we have uh, that we must continue our exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for hostilities. In order to do so, we'll need to set up colonies as bases of operation. Our scientists are already reverse engineering the interstellar drive to replicate its technology. We have developed a SETI device for your ship. It will pick up signals of other sentient life in the galaxy, indicated by radio signals over stars that you target. All right, let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, how do I establish a colony? Um, place the colony is easy. Yeah, you, there's basically going to be colony spots where you can put a colony. Well, we'll go and uh, do that. Um, I won't return until planet Unomi has been colonized. Okay, so we've got to go to planet Unomi. Uh, where is that planet? Uh, I guess I guess it's over here. So I don't know if you can he hear that. You get a little radio static. Okay, so that that would be we're picking up a signal from an intelligent some kind of intelligent species. Whereas that would be no hit. We're we're not basically just we're getting radio static. and that would be getting a signal. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we have, we must, uh, on planet Inomi, this planet is found in Mattis 3 system, and Mattis 3, okay, so that, that's where they want a space colony, that's where they'll get a space colony. Alright, um, oh, come into a, a new solar system, uh, d seem to have triggered a mission, uh, the planet in the uh, green orbit paths are easiest to terraform. Okay, so that's cool. When you see the planets orbiting, uh, their paths are going to give you an indication of, of how easy they are to terraform. Uh, red, of course, being hotter, blue being cooler. Uh, so, we'll want the uh, the nice green one. This one's going to be a, a nice, easy planet to terraform. We won't have to do much work to it. Okay, look at that. It's a red planet. Uh, any from moon bases to lush terra, score three, oasis, uh, fruitful colonies, mine spice that can be traded. Right, so that's what we're going to want to be doing, is, is setting up more colonies so that we uh, can gather more spice, uh, which gives us money to, to do things. And uh, let's, um, let's find, what we want to do is when we place down a colony, uh, as you can see that the circle gives you an indication of what area it's going to have control over and what you want to do is pretty much get as many spice mines within that area as possible uh, so that that's, that seems like a good area around here maybe three or four can I get I think four would be optimal if, if we can get that um, and it almost looks like there, there's a river here uh, think it's looking pretty good, eh? I uh, want to try and get, you know, at least make sure I get the three, but that almost, oh, you get a place where asteroids are coming down. Uh, let's give it a try. I think we can get four in here, uh, ideally. This is going to do a little terraforming on its own, uh, so just like a colony missile, it fires out a colony. And there we go. And if it needs an atmosphere, it'll develop a shield. Yeah, cool. And as uh, if we terraform the planet to to become uh, better suited for us, the the shield goes away, and then they become big sprawling cities. So uh, we have grown grown your empire. Each colony each colony's productivity is tied to its size. Size is limited limited by the terra score of the planet. Uh, so yeah, all right. We have our first colony, and uh, we can go into let's uh, let's get it started. Uh, we'll want to uh, 
uh, everything is too low. <laughs> so we, we can't actually build any buildings uh, because the Terra score is it's, it's a crappy planet. Um, all we can do is just huddle underneath our shield dome and uh, and hope. So I think if we go back, we're going to get some missions to, to maybe do some terraforming. And I think I'll, uh, I'll cut it off here and uh, we'll s just split this up and um, continue on from here in the next video. Uh, I'm Sean Kenny. Thanks for watching. So long for now.